Hello my friends. Currently, most agricultural areas in the United States have entered the stage of large-scale harvest. In this video, we take a tour of several large fields in the United States to see what it's like to harvest millions of pounds of produce with state-of-the-art harvesting machines. The first place we visit in this video is the state of California, which produces about 87% of the current production in the United States. In large-scale carrot fields, the harvesting of billions of carrots will be done by these giant harvesting machines. Depending on weather conditions and farming terrain, these giant harvesters can harvest between 110,000 and 195,000 pounds of carrots per hour, which equates with hiring around 280 migrant workers. According to statistics in 2023, in the United States, about 69,700 acres of farmland is used to produce carrots. It is expected that carrot production in this year will reach about 3.4 to 3.7 billion pounds. In addition to California, carrots are also grown in a number of other US states, such as Texas, Washington, and Michigan. The total carrot production obtained in these states accounts for only 11% of the national production. Once the harvest is complete, hundreds of millions of pounds of carrots are shipped to factories to be crated or processed into other products. In California, 75% of carrots are consumed fresh at farmers markets or supermarkets. In smaller carrot farming areas like Washington, the harvest is still done by migrant workers instead of using modern farming machines. Next, we'll go to some of the vast sweet corn fields in Minnesota and Washington to see how billions of pounds of sweet corn are harvested. The end of July to September is usually the busiest harvest time in most of the sweet corn growing states. Farmers usually begin the harvesting process when the corn kernels reach a moisture content of 70 to 74 percent. With the use of modern harvesting machines, farmers can harvest between 75,000 and 95,000 pounds of sweet corn per hour. Currently, the total production of sweet corn harvested in Minnesota and Washington accounts for about 53% of the national production. And sweet corn acreage in these two states is about the same. After harvesting, millions of sweet corn will be transported by these trucks to the factory for packaging before being sold. In addition, a large amount of sweet corn will also be used to make canned sweet corn or many other products. According to USDA projections, the 2023 sweet corn production in the United States will reach about 5.9 billion pounds and bring in around $830 million. Goodbye sweet corn fields, we will go to the vast wheat fields of the Palouse region to see how the biggest wheat harvest of the year goes on. Palouse is an area in the northwest of the United States that includes eastern Oregon, central and northern Idaho, and northeastern Oregon. 
It is an area known for its fertile soil, beautiful scenery, and is one of the major wheat growing regions of the United States. In 2023, wheat acreage in the United States amounted to 11.1 million acres, up 3% from the previous year. Currently, China is still leading the world in wheat production, with about 138 million tonnes per year. In the next position is India, with 103 million tonnes, and Russia with 93 million tonnes. Do you know where the United States ranks on this list? The process of harvesting wheat does not always go smoothly, and this is one of the problems that causes great damage to the farmers. The fire of one of these giant harvesters could cost farmers between 300,000 and 600,000. In some areas, thousands of tons of wheat will be piled up after harvest due to insufficient storage facilities or stacking. And this is used to preserve the wheat while waiting for market prices to increase. The next place we will visit in this video is a cherry farm in Washington. Here, hundreds of migrant workers will be taught how to harvest cherries to achieve the best yield and quality. Mid-June to early September, is the time when cherry picking occurs on most farms in Washington. As always, thousands of tons of cherries in Washington will be hand-picked by thousands of migrant workers from Mexico. Many of these migrant workers are illegal immigrants to the United States. They have a very difficult life at home and always want to find a job with a good income when they come to the United States. Many call this the American dream. On average, each cherry harvester will earn between 100 and 130 US dollars per day. This is considered a good salary for them. However, not all immigrant workers are lucky enough to find a job when they arrive in the United States. Right now, we are at some vineyards in California. From the early morning, hundreds of workers flock here to prepare for a busy and hardworking day. Basically, the grape harvesting process here is similar to the cherry harvest in Washington. These migrant workers also need to be trained before starting work. During the grape harvest season, the weather in California is very harsh, so these migrant workers have to work in extremely hard and dusty conditions. However, for them, getting a job and sending income home is the most important thing. Do you know what kind of fruit these workers are harvesting? Let us know your answer in the comment section of the video. This machine is used to clamp firmly on the almond tree then it will shake very strongly and cause the almonds to fall to the ground. Imagine what would happen if there was a bird's nest on this almond tree. This is what is obtained after the almond trees are shaken. Billions of almonds waiting to be harvested. First, this machine will be used to gather the almonds into a straight line. Currently, 
California is home to the largest almond acreage in the United States, with about 1.33 million acres. This also makes the United States the world's largest producer of almonds. Annually, almond farms in the United States produce about 2.1 million tons of almonds, accounting for 80% of the world's almond production. In second place is Spain, with around 200,000 tons. After the almonds are gathered into a straight line, this machine will be used to transfer the whole almonds to specialized trucks before taking them to the processing plant. Do you want to go to the almond farms in the harvest season? When the almond harvest is over, the workers here will water to reduce dust. The second place that we will visit is a vast sugarcane field in Louisiana. Every October is when the cane harvest takes place across the fields of Louisiana. Currently in Louisiana, about 400,000 acres of farmland are used to grow sugarcane and the annual sugarcane output here is about 13.3 million tons, ranking second in sugarcane production in the country. According to statistics of the United States Department of Agriculture, in 2021, Florida is the state with the largest sugarcane production in the country, with 17.1 million tons. After harvesting, thousands of tons of sugarcane will be poured into these wagons before being transported to the sugar factory. This is an exterior view of a sugar mill in Louisiana. Currently in Louisiana, there are 11 operating sugar factories with the annual sugar production in this state is about 1.5 million tons, accounting for 20% of the country's sugarcane production. In 2021, about 46% of the United States sugar was produced from sugarcane and the remaining 54% is from sugar beets. <music>